mailbag time again with summer upon us. We've got kind of a variety these days of indoor and outdoor stuff, but first out of the box, some electronics. These are the Arduino Pro Micro. This is a handy little microcontroller that I'm out of right now, and I needed uh, one of these to do some keyboard emulation. Now, I think um, that's the Leonardo and a few other boards can do uh, keyboard emulation, uh, HID emulation, uh, just act as a USB device, but this is one of them. So handy dandy little device, USB on board, but no USB to serial if I remember right. They're a little quirky to program, uh, but no problem. We should be able to make it work. Next up, quadcopter parts. Uh, you haven't even seen this on the channel. I bought an indoor quad back in the winter time. Um, the Tiny Hawk, I believe. Oh, actually, this is not at all what I thought. This is my diversity module. Well, heck, isn't that handy dandy? It is here. I thought this was gone. This is finally, <laughs> well, I guess it finally showed up. This is what's gonna allow me to have two different uh, antennas, this patch antenna, as well as an omnidirectional. And then this module picks whatever one is the strongest and relays that video signal to my goggles, to my eyes. Uh, fantastic. This will go right into my fat sharks. Once I update the firmware, I'm going to put the Achilles firmware on it and, uh, maybe that'll get some of its own videos because this is, this is bargain basement price. You can't even make this for the price they're charging. Crazy. Next up, more pigtails. You guys have seen these enough on the channel. We don't need to cover them. Whole bunch of RPSMA to IPEX. These are for future um esp 8266 projects the esp uh the wemos d1 mini pro uh has the ability to have the ipex uh connection to an external antenna as long as you move the resistor over there's a shunt that you move over to to use the external i'll do a video on that I actually already have it done but uh big project big project need lots of parts okay this is more of an outdoor thing this is a old mechanics secret, sort of. This is what's marketed as a high-speed sander, a five-inch air, a high-speed air sander. You buy this on uh, Amazon, I'll link it down below, but what you use these for is um, just a grinder, just a variable speed, good, heavy-duty grinder that, uh, because it's an air tool, you can't burn it out. It works a lot better than, say, a Makita grinder. This is what us mechanics use to grind the rust off of the back of brake discs before we machine them, back when we used to machine them, or just general grinding stuff. Handy dandy, dirt cheap. Again, uh, a very cheap tool, but highly effective. We'll try it out once I get the compressor all set up in the garage. You're going to see that in a very near future video. Actually, another part of it came for that. If it isn't already out when you see this, my I, I'm doing a review on the compressor I got uh, because it's kind of like pretty heavy duty for, for a home use, but this is the pressure relief valve. It came broken on it. It was uh, damaged from shipping and broke the, the brass off. So this is a replacement from Amazon. Okay, here's a neat one. For all your laser aficionados, this will get its own video. This is the most dangerous thing I have bought on eBay in a long time. And this came right from eBay Canada. This is an extremely high power laser that <laughs> they... They really shouldn't be selling them to just anybody, to be honest. These, it actually should be controlled. And in Canada, it's actually illegal in a lot of places to possess one. Uh, the Ministry of Transportation has rules of, there's uh, black areas around airports where you, you literally can't even possess it. So uh, for your learning purposes, it's okay. And that's what we're doing here. We're gonna test this out. It's uh, gonna get its own video, but that is, that's a honker. Look at the size of that. And I can attest, I 
did have it out and yes it burns things very very quickly danger next up nothing to it some usb cables just i wanted some good usbs you know how you have multiple usb cables and you can never trust them and you never know which ones are data and which ones aren't well i wanted these these cloth coated ones easy to spot it's not my most favorite color but it's something that i i know when i grab this that it's gonna work and I, at least i hope so we'll test them out see one last item in the outdoor series uh, if you guys want to see me do a repair on some engines this is a carburetor kit this was relatively unheard of this style of kit when back when i was servicing everything this is kind of a one size fits all for uh, two cycle carbs that the the kits themselves are not unique but the fact that this one fits so many different styles right from well here you can tell by the package here see the size of that needle that's the needle that allows the fuel into the carburetor that is from a fairly beefy carb and that is the same device just much smaller and these are the welsh plugs and uh the actual needle uh control this is the this is the style that we're going to use in most carbs and in the case if you guys want to see a video uh of me fixing one this is this is basically all you need to change there's a couple of components we're gonna we're gonna do it right but this is the pump stage this is what actually pumps the fuel to a two-cycle carburetor one of these little guys these little flaps are are flap back and forth and operate as a pump much like your heart and it operates from crankcase pulses and not much to it that's the major failure point of the carburetor and the other major failure point is right here and this is from the metering stage of the carb and this is what actually operates that needle as this moves up and down it opens and closes the needle and these get hard over time it's the ethanol in the fuels if you make the mistake of using ethanol fuels like I did on some of my engines because I didn't know we could still get ethanol free gas in my town and sure enough there is so I'm going to be using that going forward but easy fix if you uh, if you ever want to rebuild these I can show you how there's not much to it here's another another style of the pump but these are the two failed components in almost all of these easy easy fix a couple of gaskets anybody can do it it is really quite easy so we'll go outside a couple more things and we're gonna wind this down back out to the shop a lot of a uh, lot of work going on out here finally getting it cleaned up and organized and uh, it's got a long way to go but we're getting there mailbag this this just arrived this is a, the cheapest chainsaw on amazon and i needed a new limbing saw actually i didn't but i could use a new limbing saw because my other one of my uh my poulons over there uh, it's getting a little long in the tooth. There's nothing wrong with it. It still works, but I thought we'd try out the cheapest possible <laughs> saw on Amazon. And then underneath it, well, this is the monster. This is a 92cc saw uh, from China. It is a clone of the 066 still, which it's huge this thing is bigger than my first dirt bike the <laughs> first dirt bike that i ever rode was 80 cc this is 92 and a chainsaw anyway we're gonna give it uh, a little bit of a going and uh ah, some more stuff we got bar guards the bar for the big saw it's 24 inch it's a big bar well i guess that's small depending on where you are west coast that's small bar uh where i am that's huge so we're gonna give these a go at uh, some point in the future. 